What's up Pod Squad family? Happy Friday. I hope you guys have all had an amazing week so far. I have a super exciting haul for you guys and I say that because I don't know half of the stuff I bought this week because I just threw it in a box so I can only see the top layer of things in this box and I have horrible short-term memory. Sometimes I feel like I'm like Dory from Finding Nemo. Can I help you? Something's wrong with you. Because my short-term memory is horrible, but my long-term memory is excellent, which is so weird because like how can you how can you remember things from 5 years ago, but you can't remember that memory when it happened two days ago. I don't know if I'm making any dang sense at all, but here we go. Let's get into this haul and grab a beverage or a snack because it is massive. And I only know that because I went to the Dollar Tree like four times this week and I spent a pretty penny every time I went. So that's how I know it's massive. So I got these bows in this Buffalo check pattern with the black and red you get two of these smaller ones and then a large red one i feel like these are going to fly off the shelves and the quality is really nice on these i wish i could explain it but these seem like a lot better than previous years so i was super excited obviously to find those and then i found Oh, I forgot about this. See, this is like Christmas for me. I found the gnome set. I talked about wanting to find these. I only found the pot holders though, and then the kitchen towel. I didn't find the, the oven mitt, but I'm hoping I will be able to find it. But how stinking adorable is this? Gnome for the holidays. The gnome is very popular this year. And then I also got another set. This one I found the whole set. I found the pot holders, the oven mitt, and the kitchen towel, which I'm not the biggest fan of the, the material, the microfiber material on the kitchen towels, but how cute is this one? I love the I love that they did gray instead of um maybe green or something. I don't know. I just love that they did gray in the background and I had to pick this one up because it has this sweet theme and that's the theme for my kitchen this year. So I love this one and I have been collecting Dollar Tree kitchen sets for years. I have, um, I mean, I collect everything from Dollar Tree, but like their mugs and kitchen pot holders and stuff. I have an entire closet full of those. So oh, I forgot about these. I forgot about everything in this haul, but I picked up these no-show socks, grippy socks by Essie. And I've hauled these before, but I've hauled them in the black and tan. And now they have different patterns and colors. They actually had more than this. I just picked three. I love these and what I like about them is that they have these grips in the back. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but there's like this little silicone grip to keep it from slipping. So I picked those up for myself and then I got my daughter a few pairs of socks. These are also by that same brand, Essie. And each each little pack comes with two pairs of socks. So I got her kitty unicorn, and I think she has some of these, but I just got a bigger size this time because her feet are growing. This one's probably my favorite with the fox, the foxes. And then a regular unicorn. These would be great for stocking stuffers as well. And then the llama, which you can't really see him very well, but the little llama, super cute. So got her some socks. I found some new nails. And I am pulling at random if you haven't been able to tell yet. Um, but I found some of these sassy, sassy 
and chic nails with the leopard print on the end. I thought those were really cute. And I got a Blu-ray movie, Love the Coopers. This looks like it's a Christmas movie, so I had to pick it up. It just looks like a cute holiday movie and lots of um, characters or actors that I recognize. Diane Keaton is in here. Amanda Seyfried is in here. The guy from The Hangover is in here. I don't know his name. Marissa Tomei, Olivia Wilde. How I've never seen this. John Goodman is in this movie. So love can survive anything, even family. So it just looks like a cute holiday movie and it is a Blu-ray. So $1 for that. Crazy. So picked that up. More socks. I got these men's socks and I, I got them for me. Um, my husband is just likes to wear plain black and white socks. He doesn't like colorful socks. But I did pick these up for me in these three colors. I just thought they would be fun to wear around the house and they feel like they're really cozy and thick um, for when it's cold. So I got myself these. I could also wear these inside boots. I feel like they would be long enough. So got myself some more socks. This is a new item I've never seen at Dollar Tree, just yarn. So I picked up green and red. I figured I could use this for Christmas DIYs, maybe make some little tassels um, with these and I should have gotten black. They also had, um, black, like a cream color. They had a pink, I think, and I should have gotten pink too. I'm going to have to go back and get more, but I don't know. I picked this up for some DIYs and I found some more of these slippers in the Buffalo check. I've talked about these before. I think, have I already hauled a pair of these? I know I have the leopard print, but did I already haul a pair of the buffalo chuck? I feel like I did. But these have rubber grippies on the bottom, which are perfect if you're in the hospital or even if you have like wood floors or laminate flooring um, to keep you from slipping. I think these are excellent and they're very, very soft. It says women's size five to nine. I wear anywhere between a nine and a half to 11. My, I guess my regular size is like a 10. It just depends on the shoe, but um, they do fit my feet. So it's a stretch, but they do fit FYI. I found this um, aroma diffuser that is battery operated. I thought that was really cool. It's on the go. It looks like you can take it maybe to your office if you're allowed to have something like that on your desk. I don't imagine that it puts off too much of a um, throw or mist. It says water free so you don't have to use water in it, battery operated and portable. So I think I've seen this on a couple other channels, other haul channels. So yeah, it's just a little aroma diffuser and I think you take a pad out at the bottom I don't know how to open this and then put the essential oil or whatever on the pad and then it just kind of diffuses it somehow I, I don't know if I'm doing this correctly but let me see oh, okay here it is it comes with it looks like two of these little pads that you put in the bottom and then put it back together. So this would also be a great gift for a stocking stuffer or um, just a little gift basket or something. You could put maybe a couple of essential oils in there and then this, um, some candy or something like that and give it as a gift in a gift basket. This, I was so excited when I found this. This plate, Baking Spirits Bright, with the gingerbread man on there, with the candy cane. It's so cute. This is a Royal Norfolk um, plate, which is also Greenbrier International. But I had 
I had to snag this for Christmas because I've talked about it a thousand times. You guys are probably over it, but I am doing a sweets theme in my kitchen and uh, my dining room. I found this little LED wood truck, little red truck with a Christmas tree in the back. It does have the LED light in the back, which is different because usually Dollar Tree puts it underneath. But I thought this was really cute. I feel like this is also going to be a hot item. I think it's safe to say any any little red truck print or design or piece of decor is, is going to be um, flying off the shelf. So I had to get this and it looks like the thing had come out and it was maybe left on because it's not turning on mine isn't so be sure when you're buying these that you check and see that they still have the little plastic tab in them I mean I could just pop in a new um, little LED tea light because it does pop out but I mean just so you're getting your I guess dollars worth make sure that you're checking on little LED um, decor pieces that they have those little tabs I picked up three tubes of these five count ornaments in this red and white striping. It reminds me of candy, so I thought these would be super cute for DIYs and decorating, so I picked up those. I picked up two of these pet scoops to use for our chicken food. Um, outside we have two metal containers that we keep our chicken food and chicken scratch in, and we usually just use cups, but I thought, I don't know, I would pick up these big scoops. It'd be easier for uh, my kids and myself to use. You guys, I found so many cute card steaks for Christmas. I think I got all of them, I'm not sure. But this all looks like it's a collection. How cute are these? You have the reindeer, Believe. The little penguin, which I think is my favorite. Be joyful. Frosty, let it snow. And then Santa, be merry. And I just like love all the little messages on these. I think they're really cute. They do have a little um, spot at the bottom where you can stick them in the ground. You can stick them in a planter or something outside. And of course, you could also pop them off and do a DIY with them, but how cute are those? And they do have a little burlap bow at the bottom of each one. And then I found, I think this is backwards, the truck and the trailer. I love the trailer the most. And I like how they didn't overdo these with glitter. I can appreciate that. There is some glitter like down here on season's greetings and a little bit around the door actually there's some on the penguin too but you know what i mean it's not like overboard like we usually see with the dollar tree signs and then you have santa and the truck the presents this is so cute and i just have to bring it up there's no glitter at all on these signs um i think they went for more of a vintage Kind of look with these and up close it looks like wood like weathered and worn wood so i think these are my favorite out of all of them so super excited to find those okay so you guys the window clings this year it's like dollar tree knew that i was going to be doing this sweets theme decorating because all of these are sweets related or sweets themed and I could easily talk about these for five minutes each, so I'm, I'm going to try not to do that. Um, but how cute are these? I, I have to do some DIYs with these because it would be a waste if I didn't. Usually I use these to decorate like our family calendars and let the kids decorate, but I have to do some DIYs with these. I have to figure something out. I feel like I could maybe... Mod Podge or glue these on to a piece of wood or something. I don't know. Stay tuned. Definitely subscribe if you guys want to see some DIYs if you aren't currently subscribed. But like this one, I feel like I could do something 
with this train for a DIY. Like, you know what I mean? Like these prints are just too cute not to do something besides stick them on a window. You know what I mean? So I think this one is my favorite. I just, I love it. I get so excited about these. This one has to be my favorite just because it looks more vintagey than the rest of them, but it's still sweets. And then just a few more. Look at the gingerbread houses on this one. And if you, if you guys hear snoring in the background, that's my dog Thor. He loves to snore every time I turn the camera on. But you guys see what I mean? Like all of these are sweets. It's a very popular theme. I know that. It's been a very popular theme for the past couple of years, but I feel like this year it's, it's very, very popular. And then this one, you guys, Santa has a donut food truck. I just absolutely adore all of these. I think they're so cute. And I can't wait to see what DIYs I come up with for those. And then this one um, was out last year. I do remember this one. This is also like a window cling sticker. Um, but these ones are puffy. And I remember it because I remember this nutcracker. And then this little gingerbread house. But how awesome were all of those window clings? I just can't get over that those are a dollar. They're one dollar. Okay, moving on. So I found some glitter paper and I found all of these different colors. This is by Jot. And these are going to be perfect for my Cricut. For my Cricut to cut things out. You get three sheets in each one. All of these ones are like the same, it looks like they're the same colors, but this pack has red, green, and white in there, which I think is going to be really good for some DIYs or paper crafting for Christmas, baby blue or sky blue, and then a dark blue, and then purple, and pink. So I think that's awesome that Dollar Tree sells um, glitter paper. Uh, I don't think it's trans. I don't think it's gonna transfer. But I'm gonna open it up just to make sure. I'm gonna run my hand over it. Now it's flat, which is awesome because you don't. I don't know. When I use my Cricut, sometimes when I'm cutting like chunky, glittery material, especially like glitter HTV my Cricut gets like the I feel like it messes up the blade um, because it's just so chunky so I like that those are they look it looks like glitter but it's not actual glitter all right and so then, in the home improvement aisle I found some new wood glue and it says super glue so wood professional strength all types of wood so I thought I would try that out. It might be good for some DIYs. And I picked up a one and a half inch angled paintbrush because I need some more paintbrushes. And then I got some of this all purpose caulking. And I'm going to attempt some DIYs with this. So I picked that up. All right, okay. so we are nearing the end of this haul. I found this really fun bag. I love narwhals. I love my sea creature, so I couldn't pass this up. This one doesn't have any glitter on it. It looks like this is glitter, but it's not. It's it's flat, which I can appreciate. And the side of the bag, that's a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. Stars gold stars with a purple background and then a purple handle. So picked that up. Kitchen tools. I was shocked to find all of these 
really good quality kitchen tools that I've never seen before. It's by the brand Kitchen Helper. And they have like this notch on the back of each one of them. And it says on here not to leave it on a pot. It says utensils should not be left in pans while cooking. That's obvious. Um, and handles should not be allowed to overhang on the sides. But I, I don't know what else this is for unless it's, because it seems like it would just like hang on the side of a pot. But you don't want to do that because then it'll melt the plastic. But I don't know, maybe you could like, trying to get something flat here. Maybe you could, maybe it's just meant to do that. So yeah, maybe like that. So the spoon doesn't touch the surface. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be for, but it is BPA free, FDA certified and heat resistance, heat resistant to 446 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. So maybe it is for the side um, yeah, but it says don't let it overhang on the sides as heat from the stove can damage the handle. So I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think this is for? I think maybe it's meant to just lay, like I said, on it. I'm talking way too long about spoons. All right. So anyway, so we have the ladle right here. Then I found this um, skimmer. They're calling this a skimmer spoon. So it like a slotted spoon and all of the handles are different colors and then a spatula and I actually needed some new kitchen tools and then just a colander spoon or slotted spoon another one. So this one's a little bit bigger than this one. And then I got another spatula. So I thought these would, these seem like really, really good quality tools. And I love my kitchen tools. I'm like always looking for better um, cooking gadgets and things like that. Oh, and then I did get one more kitchen tool from Betty Crocker. I've never seen this before. This is an avocado tool. So I do have an avocado cutter that I never actually use, um, but this one looks a little bit different. So I thought I would try it out. So you just go like this inside of your halved avocado and then it has this little, almost like a Swiss army knife avocado tool. I don't know, <laughs> I just thought this was pretty cool. So maybe this is to kind of just get the the pit out or actually to maybe cut around and half the avocado. But I just thought that was really neat. So I picked that up. And then three more, four more items. I found some magnetic hooks. Never seen these before. I did find this in the office supply section. You could maybe put this on your refrigerator and use it to hold your keys or pot holders or kitchen towels, something like that. Pick that up. I think I only got one beauty product this week. This Flower Beauty Velvet Lip Crayon. And this is in the color Mauve Over. Let's go ahead and swatch that. Why not? I love mauves. Okay, that's really pretty. So that is what that looks like. And Flower Beauty is a Drew, is Drew Barrymore's brand, makeup brand. And it is sold at Walmart. And I think probably like CVS and places like that. And then the last items that I picked up, I picked up 12 of these acrylic organizers. You, they are stackable. So I picked up 12 of them. And I think I want to stack them maybe four high and then glue them together with some E6000. And then I also got these organizers to maybe glue on top. It shows in the picture that you can use these with makeup, but I was thinking craft storage for these, all of my little bits and pieces of like my little 
um, things that I use in my journaling and things like that. I don't know. I figured I could use this as craft storage and make my own little cute acrylic organizers. I really love the way that clear acrylic looks in craft room. So I went ahead and picked those up. All right, guys, so that's it for this week's Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you spotted some goodies, I really hope that you are able to find them at your local Dollar Trees. And if you missed last week's Dollar Tree haul, I did um, say at the end of the video that I was um, possibly going to be filming a Q&A or get to know me video since I've been on YouTube for um, almost two years now and I haven't done anything like that and a lot of you said that you would like to see that video so um, I am going to be filming that video next week um, for my birthday so if you do have any questions that you would like to ask me or get to know me comment them down below and I will be picking out um, some questions that you guys have and answering them on that video so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again today and I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you in my next one bye guys